guys, it's Joshy here, and I'm back with another Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon theme team. So this is the square number three team of Gen 4. I've been meaning to get to this. Uh, I did, obviously, the... Um what are my other numbers? My prime numbers and now under the square. So this was really fun. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or anything down below, don't forget to chuck it there. Uh, funny enough, neither of these battles were actually off my Discord. I did have a fair few off there, but they just didn't turn out right because this was actually Uber's mixed. And if I won, I won by a fair bit. If I lost, I lost by a fair bit. So it wasn't really that great. So anyway, I let off with my little pinky. This is actually my soft resetted uh, shiny, uh, Timid. Palkia that I found in this actual game, Ultra Moon. And so I thought, oh, this is like the one Pokemon I didn't want to come up against first. But I can tell you now, it was actually the best play by her or him. Who knows? Random. That's what I got down the bottom because I can't tell. Um, so anyway, we've got Mega Gardevoir here. So I'm like, oh, great. So he goes for Hyper Voice, which is going to hit really hard. But lucky I'm a Palkia, so I'm able to just take that. And now I'm able to go for the Ancient Power. So this set is max speed, max special attack with Ancient Power, which I even get the boost there, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, Ancient Power, um, Water Pulse, Rest, and Sleep Talk. Because I find generally, if something's not hitting overly too hard, if I can get a boost or two, I can live it. So I was hoping for a Confusion Hacks there as well, and then hit in self in Confusion, but I don't. And that's Lil Pinky down. So that, that's a little bit of a shame, really. A little shame for Lil Pinky. But anyway, so... Now we've got Crackers coming in. So I really like Crackers. So he's going to go for Thunderbolt, which is no problem for me because I am actually um, Focus Sashed, which then gives me the chance to take this thing out. So I could have gone because I am, um, what am I? I am timid with max speed, special attack max speed, but I'm not going to outspeed a Mega Gardevoir at max speed. So yeah. So I've um, just thought instead of going for the. Um, Nasty plot, which I do have. I'm just gonna go for the hyper voice, uh, the boom burst, and you know. Then he comes in, accelerox me, and I'm out. That's fine. You know, I, I'm all right. The mega gardevoir is gone, so that's all right. So, so I'll bring in Bibarel here, or Bibarel. Um, now I was deciding what to do here, and I thought, okay, well this is an interesting set. So he goes for a Stone Edge, actually knocks me right down. Lucky it wasn't a crit, which is works well because now I get the Salak Berry, and now I'm able to go for liquidation. So I was thinking this would be enough, and it was. I do have, as well as Liquidation, I have Liquidation, Covert, Swords Dance, and... Um, oh, and Dua. So that way I can make sure I get my Salic Berry. So now um, I thought I'll go for Covert against this thing, and I steal the item. I thought that's good. Let's see what I got. And I actually got Bright Powder, so that worked out well, except for the fact that it still didn't allow any misses here, and he hits the Toxic. So I thought, uh, there's not much I can do here. But I'm not too fussed about it all. So here I was like, let's go. So what are we doing? And I thought, I'm going to go for the liquidation here. And this should be all right. Does yeah, damage. But it was what the defense drop that I was going to go for. Unfortunately, I didn't get that. Also, then he goes for the recover. So I was hoping to leave him on low health or lower health after taking the hit. But unfortunately, I'm going to go down there to the um, toxic. And so then I thought, oh, well, I'm going to bring in Palkia here. So I've sped this part up a little bit. So this Palkia is from way back from Pearl, actually. And it actually was a real hassle to get here. Because I have Toxic, Whirlpool, um, Rest with Chesto Berry, and Bulk Up. Now, to get Whirlpool, you've got to get him over to Heart Gold, Soul Silver. So I got it over to Heart Gold, but the problem is my I have Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but my original Soul Silver went missing. So actually neither of them have a very hard save. So I was literally only two gyms into Heart Gold, which was further. Soul Silver, I don't even think I was a gym in yet. And so I had to play through from there up to getting Whirlpool, then trade him across and get Whirlpool. Then I tried to do Poke Transfer and realized that I wasn't able to transfer Pokemon with HM moves. So I was like, you're kidding me. Then figured out that Whirlpool, luckily, and Defog are not HMs in the uh, uh, other games. So Pearl, Diamond, and Platinum, you can put a Whirlpool Pokemon in and transfer over. And with Defog from those three over to Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and transfer. So I had to send him back over and then transfer. So I was like, you have. Uh. 
It was a pain to get this guy for this team, and that is part of the reason it didn't come close to the other one. But anyway, so I got a couple of boosts, everything. I thought I'll go here for the um, the rest. I don't want to take it too close, especially if he attacks and if the poison's bigger. His poison's racking up, plus the whirlpool damage, so he should be going down next turn. But I wasn't sure. I thought I'm going to go for a whirlpool just in case I need that extra little damage. But he's actually going to go for the toxic. I thought, oh, well, I thought he might have gone for the... Um, the other one. I'll get there. Three, two, one, recovery. So he didn't, and he's going down. But even that little bit extra didn't matter. So now he can go for the recovery, but definitely going down this turn, I'd say, to the Toxic. So he decided to go for the Ice Beam for the damage, which is fair enough. But I'm going to be going down. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not too upset. I was pretty happy with what happened there. So I'm happy with the deal, what, how we dealt that. So now, um, now Gunnadel, I always get this name wrong, comes in and he's just going to Draco Media me. So I was like, oh, yay. So I'm pretty sure this was end of battle at this stage. I was like, I'm down. The only thing that could work in my favor is the special attack drop, depending on what moves he does carry. And then he gets a speed boost. And I was like, yeah, okay, it's pretty much done. I'm whatever. So my only hope here was that he was one down in special attack. I was hoping he'd go for Dragon Pulse or Draco Media, and then I could possibly pull something out. But no, he goes for Nasty Plot because this uh, Crackers, wait, is this Polly or Crackers? This is Polly, I think. Anyway, Polly is, um, I can't remember if we're Jolly or Adamant, but anyway, we are max speed, max attack with uh, Mirror Move. So we are actually Fly MZ Mirror Move, which doesn't work here, but I still get my double, like my Swords Dance virtually off. So this time he's going to go for the Draco Media, and he misses. I was like, you've got to be kidding. This gives me a chance. So on top of this, I have Steel Wing, um, Aerial Ace, and Return. So Return is able to take him out from that range. So I was like, oh my gosh, that was so lucky. And then he brings in Sylvali, and I thought, you're kidding me. Of course he has a Rock, Sylvali, which I am going to struggle to deal with because unfortunately my last Pokemon, which if you haven't guessed yet, is Bibarel. Or Bibaro. Uh, yeah, I, um, I'm not going to be able to touch his last Pokemon. So I thought, let's see what happens here. He actually goes for Explosion. Now, I'll explain this Bibarel set in the next battle. But I am able to live that. So I'm like, woo! But as I said, I can't touch the last Pokemon anyway. So he's just going to come in here and take me out. But I get my Berry, which is a Potato Berry. I would could easily run this guy with a weakness policy but then i have to actually make sure i'm hit with a super effective move where sometimes i come into the chance where this guy just gets knocked low but doesn't get the super effective move so anyway he's going to come in he will outspeed and i am going to be taken out there by a play rough so you know not upset not phased i'm pretty happy with that battle especially after some of them on the discord so anyway let's keep going so into this next, but I actually know the name of this guy because it's in English and I can read that language most of the time anyway, <laughs> most. So I thought, let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to send out Crackers first because I expected after seeing his team list to see this guy, which is his fortress, come out. So I'm like, oh, guys, don't be predictable. So he's going to go, what I expect is the, um, what is it? It's the Stealth Rocks. Now I was wondering, and he goes for the Stealth Rocks, that's all good. And... I'm like, well, the other reason is if he did go for Stealth Rocks because he had one or two other Pokemon that could, I was worried, you know, that I'd have to swap this guy in and I waste the Focus Sash. So anyway, he's going to swap out, swap into his Rotom, which is his Rotom Wash. I'm going to go for a second Nasty Plot, which was lucky. Or well, even if he hit me then, he had to switch. He wasn't going to be able to take me out in two hits, I doubted. Um, so now I'm able to go for the Boom Burst and after, you know, plus four in Special Attack, that Rotom is going down. So I'm pretty happy already. I'm like, okay, I'm off to an all right start. I'd like to take out one more. That'd be good. So then he brings in Garchomp, and I'm like, okay, well, let's see. I wonder if this guy's sashed or scarfed or, you know, whatever. But he's probably going to be fast. And he is. He outspeeds me. I don't even need my focus sash there. I live on 2 HP. But Boom Burst is going to take Garchomp down. So I'm, I'm really happy on where we're sitting at at this point. So I'm like, let's see, come on, bring it in. And he brings in AG Slash. I'm like, okay, I don't know what he thought, if he thought it out speed or live, but I hadn't revealed I had Heat Wave yet. So now I'm able to take out the AG Slash. 
which was a big worry on this team. So I am so happy. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. So now, Fortress is going to come back in. I'm like, if you let off with this, it's going to have um, Sturdy. But let's hope I don't miss. And I don't miss a Heat Wave. I take him down to his Sturdy, which is fine. I was hoping to get a burn, so at least he got taken down this turn. But he didn't. And he's going to go for the Rapid Spin, which will be enough to take me out, unfortunately. But, you know, if he just could have not there, it would have been nice if he could have missed and died. Because, you know, could have got a sweep. But then I wouldn't have this video yet. Maybe I could have kept going. Anyway, so now I thought, oh well, let's bring in Polly. This will be fun. I should take him out of this range with any physical attack. So I thought, yep. And then he swaps. I'm like, are you joking? What do you have to swap there for? I was like, oh, and he brings in this damn thing. And I was like, if I, ah, I just wish I attacked now. So I went for, you know, my Fly MZ with Mirror Move, which is just useless. I was like, oh, well, at least I'll get, you know, Breakneck Blitz. I'm plus two in attack. He's on no HP. It's stabbed. I will do something. So now he's going to now Mega Evolve. So I'm like, oh, like I know I had two Ubers, but the two Uber sets weren't amazing. Let's admit they were very dull down. And then on top of that, if, it, like, some of, like, just, I needed sticky webs to really make this work better. But unfortunately, he's going to outspeed now in the sun, go for the flamethrower, and I'm going down. So I'm like, yep. Ah, this is a problem. So I thought, let's see, let's bring in a little pinky, because as a positive here, I expect to leave whatever he has. But I do also expect that I can do a lot of damage with a, um... What is it called? Ancient Power. So I'm hoping for a boost off this, especially because I expected he could outspeed being Mega Charizard. And I'm going to live that decently. Um, I'm going to go for the Ancient Power. If I do get my boosts here, it's going to really help. I'm like, come on, it's doing a lot of damage. He just lives and I don't get the boost. So I don't have a priority move here. So I'm going to have to just, you know, take this on the chin but I know I can take this out he's got three and now I've got three left although his fortress isn't much so I'm like let's have a look so I thought bring Bibarel in and let's have a look so I'm going okay well the reason I bought this guy in is now I'm going to go for my endure because I know I am outsped at this point even though I'm max speed um, I one of my physical attackers so I am jolly but I expected him to carry the solar beam and I was correct so now I'm going to be hit with this, which is fine. It would have taken me out, but luckily, thanks to my injury, I'm going to live on one HP. I know this thing won't carry a priority move. And now I'm able to get my Salic Berry so that I am definitely faster after a double boost in speed. That Liquidation, any even Covert, but I wasn't going to reveal that yet, will, excuse me, take him out from that range. So thank goodness this is down and the sunlight fades. So I'm like, okay, let's have a look what we've got. So Vic... It's actually Vittoria, but I have a feeling it's supposed to be Victoria. But, you know, Miguel, if you're ever watching this, whoever you are, let me know what it's supposed to be. So I went for a Covert. I do half HP on a crit. And I was like, okay, so I didn't get anything here. So I'm assuming this thing's going to be carrying a Z Crystal because I know all these Pokemon were carrying a move. So I thought, oh, well, let's bring my other Bivorel. So both of them are simple if you didn't gather yet. But this is my timid one. I have Amnesia, Defense Curl, um, Rest, and Snore with a Patea Berry, so I get a bit of a boost on my Snore. So I was really hoping he wouldn't get the drop. He actually gets a crit, which, oh my gosh, straight there gets a crit. I was already so worried. And I was like, you're going to be joking me off the bat. But then again, at least I wasn't lower HP and taken out by a crit. So I thought, well, I have no option. I've got to go for the rest pretty much. You know, with another amnesia, maybe I could live something, but it's not worth the risk. So I'm on 32, you know, back up to full, looking at another psychic. What do we got? Oh, I probably could have just lived that even without another amnesia, but it wasn't worth the risk. So now I'm able to go for the snore. So I was like, the good thing is um, being um, timid, I do get the flinch that even without the boost, I haven't got um, any investment in the speed. I am able to outspeed a lot of things. And it would work better, obviously, with webs because it's going to slow the opponents down. But I go for another Snore. I get two flinches. I'm in love with this set, even though it's not doing too much. So I wake up. I'm going to go for the Defense Girl. I would guess this guy would be better just with, you know, a Tail Glow that is um, batten passed over just to give that extra boost. So he's actually going to pull out here. I mean, pull out his Z Crystal here. 
Sorry, wrong type of video I'm voicing here. And um, he's going to unleash his Z-move, which I'm hoping not for a crit here. If he gets a crit, I'm done here, but he should be low enough that I should be able to take out, and I think my last power here should be able to outspeed, but I don't have the best moves, but I'm thinking, you know, I should be able to live it. So anyway, um, I thought at this stage, I'm just going to go for rest again. Uh, he can't really touch me that much, and I know that even without boosts, my general max HP and mixed bulk will be able to take on uh, the fortress. So now I'm going to go for another snore. I'm like, come on, just everything work out. I wanted a snore kill, and I'm going to go for it. And guys, I don't get it this turn. And he gets a calm mind off, but I'm like, look, unless he has something that he's, he's not going to outspeed me now, so he can't recover. So honestly, I'm able to take this out with a snore next. But honestly, just thinking about it, I could see this Pokemon getting the triage ability for its other ability, because I don't think it has the three abilities. I think it has Flower Guard or whatever it is and Bestow. So I'd really like to see this thing come with a, yeah, a triage ability. But anyway, Snorkill in the bag. So now he brings in this guy and I'm like, look, I think I can take him out of this range with a Snore, but I'm actually about to wake up and then I got to go back to sleep. I don't have any damage yet. I'll outspeed him. So he's actually going to get a bit of recovery first. So I thought I'm just going to swap into my Palkia here. So this way I am certain I'm not, I, yeah, I do lose the boosts in special attack, but the Gyroball's not doing anything on me. And as I said, this little bit of a boost. So now I'm able to just go for my waterfall at this stage and a Whirlpool, Whirlpool Joshua. And that will be enough, even with, if not to take him out here, by the end of the turn, take out that thing. So I do actually win this one 2-0, but it was a really good battle. We actually had some powerhouses on both teams that did most of the work. I mean, you know, I had Crackers at the start and he had bloody Megazard. Oh, why? Thank you. Um, in it, so it was a really, really fun battle. But guys, if you did enjoy this, I didn't say this earlier, but if you did enjoy this, you know what? After all that damn effort, we have to whirlpool that like button because that was the hardest Pokemon to get over here. Honestly, it was took me longer to get that Pokemon over to this game and get it all done, longer than it took me to even get my shiny uh, Palkia. So there you go. Little Pinky took less time. But as I said before as well, I have Discord in that link below if you want to jump on Battle Me. We're getting a few people on there. Um, I will have an update video to the channel. I keep saying things are coming. They are coming. Um, I also should say sorry about the late upload with this. My health has been so up and down. Like, I'm not dead, but some, I was, can feel like it sometimes, let me tell you. So it's just, it's just shit, if I'm completely honest. Um, yeah, and my other links are down below, and the comments, if you want to suggest anything, you can chuck them down there. I do enjoy the suggestions, because sometimes I feel like if I'm coming up with everything myself, I feel like it's not appreciated as much. Um, but yeah. So anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.